Hello and welcome to the Daily Scripture Podcast. My name is Jerome Lavelle, and I hope that you're having a marvelous day today. Today, we will be looking at 2 Timothy chapter 4, verses 10 through 17. Beloved, Demas, enamored of the present world, deserted me and went to Thessalonica, Crescens to Galatia, and Titus to Demacia. Luke is the only one with me. Get Mark and bring him with you, for he is helpful to me in the ministry. I have sent Tychicus to Ephesus. When you come, bring the cloak I left with Carpus in Troas, the papyrus rolls, and especially the parchments. Alexander the coppersmith did me a great deal of harm. The Lord will repay him according to his deeds. You too be on guard against him, for he has strongly resisted our preaching." At my first defense, no one appeared on my behalf, but everyone deserted me. May it not be held against them. But the Lord stood by me and gave me strength, so that through me the proclamation might be completed and all the Gentiles might hear it. Today, in the second letter of St. Paul to Timothy, chapter 4, Verses 10 through 17, we hear Paul giving an update, a warning, and a thanks. Today's scripture is taken from Paul's second letter to Timothy, a man who Paul converted who was of mixed Jewish and Gentile race. Timothy was Paul's confidant, student, friend, and companion. He traveled with Paul on missionary journeys and was sent by Paul on his own missionary journeys. Today's passage is so fantastic for me to hear. It is detailed. It is intimate. It is exactly the kind of letter that one could send today, except maybe we would see it in the form of an email or text. As I read these verses, what I hear is an update, a warning, and a thanks. He gives an update. It is clear that he gives lots of details in this letter. Folks who have left him, who to trust and who not to trust. There is a request to bring him specific personal items, his cloak, the papyrus rolls, and parchment. He gives an update in almost an informal and chatty way. He also gives a warning. He speaks of the coppersmith and his work against the movement, how he is a threat not only to Paul, but then Paul warns Timothy to avoid him and not trust him. He gives a warning. And he also gives a thank. He speaks that although others have abandoned him, the Lord stood by him, giving him strength. He is saying, thanks be to God. He gives an update. He gives a warning. And he gives a thanks in this incredible letter to Timothy. As I contemplate and reflect on today's passage, what strikes me is the relationship that St. Paul has with Timothy. In seeing and hearing the context and style of this letter, I learn things about that relationship. I'm sensing things. I intuit things about that relationship between the sender and the receiver. And what do I see? I see brothers committed to their work, committed to walking together, committed to supporting each other, sharing their lives and their love of God with each other. I'm imagining two men who take turns being good listeners and good talkers. There's trust, support, and yes, love in this relationship. You might ask, the verses of this letter tell you that? And I would say, yes, it does. In Paul's update, in his warning, and in his thanks, I hear this. And that has me thinking about those that are Timothy's 
to my Paul in my life, those that I would give an update, a warning, and a thanks to in a conversation. Those that in our relationship, we build each other up, we support each other, we share our faith walk with. This may be your spouse, your best friend, a person at work, old friends and new friends. Today, I want to thank God for all of those Timothys that He has placed in my life. We support and are committed to each other. We to them and they to us. Today, I'm thinking about and praying for my Timothys. My life and my faith are both better because of them. Today, in Paul's letter to Timothy, he gives an update, a warning, and a thanks. Maybe today is a great day for all of us to reach out to our Timothys and connect and thank them as well. Thank you for joining the Daily Scripture Podcast. My name is Jerome Lavelle, and remember our word of the day is thanks be to God for all of our Timothys. Until next time, be well and be blessed.